Hey guys, welcome to Driving TV. In today's video, I will be providing you guys with traffic sign study guide for beginner drivers, the written exam 2023. This video is a comprehensive resource for all beginner drivers preparing for their written driving exam and will focus only on the traffic sign section. As a beginner driver, it's essential to have a solid understanding of traffic signs and their meanings. And well, this video will give you different traffic signs that you will encounter on the road, helping you become more aware of these important signals and learn them. This video is composed of only traffic signs and their meanings, making it easy for you to focus on learning and retaining that information. Um, so what I can tell you is that by watching this video, you'll not only be prepared for your written driving exam, but also the practical driving examination, because knowing the signs and their meanings will help you navigate the road safely, responsibly, and it would also, also actually demonstrate your mastery as a driver on your practical. So if you're ready to learn all about traffic signs and become an expert, this video is perfect tool for you. Start watching now, take the first step towards passing your written and practical driving exams with confidence. And don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to our channel for more valuable resources and educational videos about driving. Thank you and let's begin. Traffic Signs Written Test 2023. Let's get started. And first question is, of the following traffic signs that appear below, which one of them indicates a divided highway that ends? I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time so you guys can think and pick your answer. The correct answer would be B. Which of these signs indicates that you cannot pass another vehicle? The correct answer in this case is going to be C. No passing zone. A yellow arrow pointing to the left indicates which of the following. Read slowly and carefully and choose your answer. The correct answer in this case is going to be A. The vehicles moving in that direction should stop if they can because the arrow is going to turn red. Do not advance on streets and one-way highways where you cannot enter. You may see the sign if you enter a freeway ramp from the wrong direction. Which of these signs do you believe it is? I think it's pretty obvious that it's going to be B. Do not enter. When driving on a main avenue and you feel the need to turn back a U to turn to the opposite direction, so you're going to make a U turn, which of these signs indicates not to do that, not to make a U turn? The correct answer is B. You are driving in the right lane of a main avenue and you want to turn right and you get a red light. You must. The correct answer is A. You slow down and stop firmly behind the crosswalk. So which of these signs indicates that you are approaching a roundabout? Hmm. I believe in this case, the correct answer is B. When driving on a freeway and you intend to take an exit ramp, you should slow down. Now, which of these signs tells you the 
actual proper speed. And the correct answer is C. You have to turn left at an intersection with a green light, but you have a vehicle stopped in the middle of the intersection with the same intention. What should you do in this case? Hmm. I believe that the correct answer in this case would be A. You must wait behind the crosswalk until that vehicle finishes turning so as not to block the intersection. Of the traffic signals that appear below, which of them indicates that you are approaching an intersection controlled by traffic lights? Yes, that would be B. When driving on a fast track, you can see this sign. What does it tell you? So the correct answer is B. This is what this sign tells you. It tells you that it is a restricted lane for certain purposes or vehicles, such as buses or group transportation vehicles join rush hour traffic. Solid double yellow lines indicate Correct answer is A. Vehicles moving in either direction must not pass or cross these lines unless turning left when it is safe to do so. If you want to turn right, which of these signs below prohibits you from doing so? And the correct answer that you should have gotten right is B. You're coming to a point where another lane of travel merges with yours. Watch out for traffic and be prepared to yield when necessary. So what is this sign called? Or what does it look like? The correct answer is A. Transit that integrates. When it rains, drive slowly. Do not accelerate or stop suddenly. Turn at a very low speed. What is the name of this sign? B. Slippery surface. Turn center lane. The center lane is shared to turn left in both directions of traffic. Now, which of these signs indicates that? The correct answer would be yes, C. Dashed single white line indicates Correct answer would be A. You may cross this line to change lanes when it is safe to do so. Now, slow down and watch out for children crossing the road. Stop if necessary and obey the signals of the crossing guards. Which of these signs below matches the description? And the correct answer is B. Do not enter if your vehicle is taller than the height listed on the sign. Which of these signs indicates this statement? And the correct answer is C. It is going in the opposite direction. Do not proceed beyond this sign. Turn right away. Now, which of these signs indicates this? 
I'm pretty sure you all got this right because the correct answer is A. Wrong way. What does this traffic sign tell you? A. Stop sign ahead? A flashing yellow light at an intersection tells you the driver should. Correct answer is B. That the driver should slow down and proceed with caution. A broken white line indicates that vehicles are moving. Correct answer would be A, in the same direction. So if you see a, right, a white broken line, it indicates that vehicles are moving in the same direction. So what does this traffic sign actually mean? Correct answer would be C, to give way forward. You can tell that you are driving on a two-way road when you see a sign like this. Which of the following? Correct answer is A. Which of these signs is named as a sharp right turn? The correct answer is C. The bridge is wide enough for two lanes of traffic, but with very little spacing. Stay in lane. Which of these signs is the indication? Narrow bridge. The correct answer would be B. Which of these signs tells us to watch out for animals crossing the road? particularly during twilight hours at night. The correct answer would be A. I think this is this was a pretty easy one. The continuous double white lines inform us that A that is not allowed to cross a continuous line or change lanes. Construction and maintenance signs are painted in what color? The correct answer would be C, orange. Which of these signs informs us of reduced speed, advance notice of an upcoming speed limit change? The correct answer in this case would be B. Mention what is the meaning of this sign, of the signal? The correct answer would be A, reduction of lanes. When there is a low area on the road, you should go slowly and then be prepared to stop and avoid the area if it is full of water. Now, which one of these indicates subsidence? The correct answer is C. Which of these signs indicates a crosswalk? This should have been an easy one because the correct answer is B. Now, which of these signs indicates 
zigzag road. There are several curves ahead. Drive slowly and do not pass another vehicle. Winding road. Correct answer is A. Which sign indicates you must bring your vehicle to a complete stop at the stop line? The correct answer would be C. Which of these signs mean you may not turn right or left at this intersection? The correct answer is A. Crossroad, a path crosses the main road ahead. Look left and right for oncoming traffic. Identify that sign. The correct answer is C. The road descends ahead. Slow down and be prepared to downshift to control speed, a hill or slope. The correct answer is B. You must move only in the direction of the arrow. Which of the following signs does this notice indicate? As seen in the picture, the correct answer is A, one way. Now, when a traffic control light turns red, you must, which of the following? The correct answer is A. You bring your vehicle to a complete stop at the stop line. Remain stopped until that light turns green. Then you may proceed. Cross road. A path crosses the main road ahead. Look left and right for oncoming traffic. Identify that sign. As you can see, once again, the letter, the correct answer would be C for this question. When you're entering an intersection and the light changes from green to yellow, you must correct answer is B, stop your vehicle if you can, because the light is going to turn red. If you are driving on a highway and you see this sign right here above your lane, you should know correct answer is A. You should know that if you stay in that lane, you will leave the freeway on an exit ramp. The green guide signs. A. They provide us information about directions and distances. The blue and white signs tells us about B. Services such as gasoline, food, motels, and hospitals. Now, if you see this vehicle with this symbol on its rear, 
What does it mean? Correct answer is C. Slow speed vehicles. And with that being said, that will be all for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope that now you feel more prepared for that traffic science written test 2023. So make sure uh, to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on other videos. Thank you and see you in the next one.